Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. We're hanging out in the tech room today. And uh, we're messing with GPUs today because we haven't mined for a while. So I thought about, you know, maybe I should be going through these here. So I've got GPUs lying everywhere. We got boxes here. We got a pile there, a pile there, uh, another basket full down there. So what I got to do is go through all these. And what I wanted to show you how to do, since the RX 580s and other mining video cards are now like all over the place for sale, if you need to pick up a a, a good video card that was once four or five hundred dollars, you know you can pick them up pretty cheap now on eBay, hundred bucks, hundred twenty bucks. So uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to um, load the factory BIOS onto the video card because the one that you may have purchased if it was used for mining likely has a modified BIOS, which is not going to give you optimum performance for gaming. So take this uh, Sapphire Nitro Plus 5X, or RX 580, for example, um, has a modified BIOS. So what we're going to do is use just a regular old computer. This is just a regular, It's yeah, it's a mining board, but it just has Windows 10 loaded on it. Yes, I'm using Windows 10 haters, whatever. You say you have to use Linux, bullshit. Windows 10 is fine. So, we're gonna get started here with plugging this guy in. Don't forget your power. Once you're good to go. I mean, the modified BIOS will still work. It's not like it was so crazy that um, it wasn't gonna, it isn't gonna work or display on your computer. So I like to use the uh, the video card that I'm gonna be working with so that when I modify it, I can see the results right away. So we're gonna go ahead and start this up. What the hell? There it goes. Something must be up with the switch. <laughs> I'll have to get that replaced. So anyway, your first telltale sign to whether your video card is working or not is going to be whether it displays when you power up. So there we have Windows 10. I'm gonna go ahead and log into this guy here. And so, there's a couple of apps that you're going to need to get beforehand when you do this. Uh, the first being uh, GPUZ by uh, TechPowerUp.com. So if you go to TechPowerUp.com and just search for GPUZ, you'll be able to find this utility. I'm not promoting these guys. It's just who I use. And I'll leave um, some links in the description of where you can get these. So when you open GPUZ... It basically provides a ton of information about your video card. And what you want to pay close attention to is the device ID right here, which is going to be basically in two parts. You're going to need the, uh, the first and the second part of that. Also pay attention down here at the GPU clock and the memory clock speeds. In this case, they are 14, 11, and 2000 megahertz. So other than that, there's not a ton of stuff you can check. Now we do have a different kind of memory uh, than others that I've had here. Some have Samsung memory, some have high Hynix uh, memory, this one has Micron memory. So what we're going to do next is go to uh, techpowerup.com slash VGA uh, BIOS. I think that's what the URL is. Yeah, VGA BIOS. So that takes you here, and there's like 13,000 cards to look through, but you can narrow this down quite a bit by searching for your brand name. We have a Sapphire card. It's an RX 580. Whoops. Come on, RX 580. Where are you? There you are. Whoop. And then it's an 8 gigabyte. So that narrows it down to 16. Okay, so now you can kind of go by model. We know this is a Nitro Plus model, so we have a few different options to pick from here. Um, now there's one down here. 
let's see if we can determine which one we need here because one of these is going to work and several of them are not so if we pick the first one we click on details here our memory matches uh, one of the things you want to look at is the graphics card info and look at the device ID which in this case is 10267 Delta Foxtrot and we go over here to our tech power up GPU Z 10267 Delta Foxtrot okay that's correct that matches one Delta Alpha 2 e, uh, Echo 366. So that part matches. So once we get that, we use our other utility. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, while you're in GPU Z, back up your shit. Just click on the little save button right here. You want to save the existing BIOS because you know this one works. I'm just going to call this uh, Nitro 02 because this is the third one that I've done. That way it's unique. Make sure you back up. Do not skip that step. Next, you're going to want to get uh, the ATI Flash Utility Tool also available from techpowerup.com. Make sure you get the latest version and also make sure you run as administrator. Otherwise, it'll crash the program and it won't work. Okay, so once you're here, it's real simple. You just load the image that you just got. Downloads. This is the newest one that I have here. Go ahead and load it, and that's it. Once you have it in there, you just go ahead and hit program. After that, you just need to have to, uh, you just got to reboot your system, and that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Here's the deal. I basically loaded the incorrect ROM. This ROM, even though everything lines up, it still isn't the correct one. So when we go to reboot this, we're going to reboot the system right now. At least it'll let us do that. But that sucks that I lost my capture, my screen capture there. So we'll let it reboot. And you know, if it does your thing, well, actually, it worked. Odd. Didn't expect that. Everything works fantastically. Now that we got our screen capture going, I'll show you guys how to test everything. Because a couple different ways. You can go to your device manager and open this up. And you can see, hey, we got an issue with our RX 580. What's going on? I'm surprised it works at all to be honest with you so if we go here we can open our start menu and click on dx diagonal type in dx diag for direct x diagnostics and this will show you some information about your hardware click on the second page it'll show you stuff about the display oh what have we here there is a problem with the rx 580 scaries device so why is there an issue? Because I loaded the incorrect ROM on purpose. So, what do you do? I'm surprised I didn't brick the thing because usually when you load the incorrect ROM, it just bricks the, the video card. So I'm actually really amazed that it works at all. It, it's working, but it's working with errors. So um, this is one way that you can check. So what we're gonna have to do is basically flash it back so we're going to do that again with the flash utility. Oops. I forgot. I need to run that as administrator. Okay. This time we're going to grab the image that we saved when we backed up. So right there. So we've got our old ROM loaded in there, and we'll just hit program again. Okay, so back to the old one, reboot. It should be okay. Even if you break your, your video card, and you've got 
backup onboard video. You're going to want to have a computer board that's got a that's got onboard video just in case you brick your video card. Uh, so you got something. You got to have something. So uh, you'll know pretty quick if you brick it. You know, like you will not see anything like this. You know, you'll just either it'll be blank, black screen, just no response, or you'll get like a white, fuzzy, staticky looking screen. So now we're basically back to where we started. We know that that ROM was no good. So what do you do? There's another one, it turns out. So the first time we went to this one here, which was the first Nitro Plus model on the list, and we know that one was no good. Even though everything was correct, we checked the details here, the numbers lined up, the memory lines up, so what gives? But if we go down here, there is another one this one here is on the list and it also has the same memory specs and let's check the details the memory checks out okay this one is for micro memory right here so uh, let's make sure our device ID matches 1,267 Delta Foxtrot correct one Delta Alpha 2 Echo 366, that's correct. Okay, that all matches here. Our speeds of memory and the uh, brand of memory and the type of memory all match. So I'm gonna go with this one right here because everything seems to be uh, lining up just right. So once we get that, Anyway, you hit the program button, make sure everything is correct, make sure you got the right ROM. And if it all is good, this will only take a few seconds, and you'll get a confirmation message at the end saying it was done successfully. Hit OK, reboot your shit. Now the first indication that things are going well is that you will have a, uh, a splash screen when we boot back up. So let's see. There we go. There's our splash screen. That's a good sign. You want to see that. If you bricked your video card, you will not get a splash screen or you will get just a bunch of white fuzz on your monitor indicating a bunch of crap is going on. So if that's the case, you better hope that your motherboard has onboard video. This one has HDMI on board, so if I brick my video card I can always plug into that go back and flash the backed up BIOS and everything should be okay and you can try again in this case we don't have to do that okay so one more test we can do here once we're loaded and we're pretty sure things are working is the DirectX diagnostic test and what this is going to do is basically just run a quick uh, test on your system you want to click to the display page or hit next page to get over there and it will show you all the information about your video card and if all is well everything will be enabled and you'll have no errors if you have any problems with the BIOS mod you'll have an error message down here in the notes section if it's all good it'll say no problems found and you can just go ahead and exit that and that is pretty much it guys so after that I mean, if you really, really, really want to field test the, the video card, you obviously got to plug in a game and turn up the graphics and see what it can do. But uh, that's the basic bench test right there, and that's how to flash the BIOS back in. It only takes about 5 or 10 minutes if you've got the software. It's super easy to do. But if you do brick your stuff, don't fear. Just go back, use the onboard video card, revert back to the other BIOS and try again. Sometimes the BIOSes that you pick down there don't work and you have to try another one. It's kind of trial and error. So, uh, But do check the brand of memory because that does matter. Hope you all learned something and enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.